Hello there, Aries. So let's look at the two center cards. Um, we have here the Seven of Wands as well as the Queen of Cups. So first of all, I feel like the month of July is going to be a very, very busy keeping you on the tips of your toes type of a month. There are a lot of responsibilities and things that are kind of flying at you that you need to take care of. So you kind of need to, you know, get yourself prepared, get yourself amped and ready to go, get a lot of sleep. And then also prioritizing and organizing your time in a very efficient manner so that you're not experiencing time crunches at the end of the week where you have to get a lot of things done and you're not scattered and confused and then wasting time. Um, you need to be very, very careful about time management overall, okay? The Queen of Cups in the reverse indicates to me a very self-indulgent energy that's going to be permeating around you this month. Self-indulgence when it comes to other people who are self-indulging in their own fantasies of what they think their life should be like, or you yourself. You don't want to deal with the real responsibilities that are kind of like crashing on your lap, falling on your lap, knocking at your door. Uh, showing themselves on your desk and so you might retreat into self-indulgent mode and um, you know just like waste a lot of time fantasizing dreaming daydreaming uh, speculating I also see a lot of people on their phone at work like receiving constant text messages texting friends texting family members doing non-work related things which contributes to the overall idea of um, wasting time okay so let's aim to be very directed uh, keep our head in the game um, learn to kind of like create checklists for yourself I need to do A B C D check them off as you go and then I feel like you know um, if there are things at home that are perfect uh, affecting excuse me your performance at work then you kind of need to learn to compartmentalize. Leave work at work, leave home situations at home so that you're not torn asunder, or you're not torn in different directions and your concentration is not, you know, um, abruptly interrupted when you need to be in concentration mode, okay? So learning to kind of like deal with what's immediately in front of you rather than dealing with things that are outside of your control. That's very crucial for this month. Um, I do see family members coming through with health issues, okay? Queen of Cups with the Sun. The Sun deals with vitality as well as the Strength card. It deals with physical stamina. Um, it deals with health. It deals with things that, are, that, that can hinder our vitality and affect our stamina. Um, I feel for many of you, um, please be careful. I see like um, bronchitis. I, I see like uh, inflammation when it comes to your joints, your throat area, and also, um, you know, head congestions and things like that. I also feel other people coming through with blood-related disease. So it could be, you know, um, blood can be a myriad of things but I feel like it's coming through from other people who are not feeling well um one thing that comes out is you know also iron deficiency okay so that's coming through I feel like more so from other people so other people will be coming to you with uh, their health concerns or their health issues and I feel like you might be called upon either to help them can you drive me to the hospital can you take care of me after my surgery uh, i'm bedridden can you come over and and help me for a few hours so like you're getting some type of external requests coming through from other people because they are um, either their mobility is restricted their stamina is restricted due to health issues i also see as well playing caretaker to another person and um, the, the reason why I say that is, once again, strength, the sun, and the queen of cups, okay? Um, you're helping somebody get better. You're helping somebody get through a very trying and difficult time in their life. So for some of you, it might not even be physically helping someone who's debilitated, but it can also be bringing clarity and um, truth 
and, um, and just insights into somebody's lives who might be going through a lot of depression or emotional issues. So I see you like fighting other people's battles for them. And you know, on top of everything that you have going on for you, you might need to draw back your energy and take care of yourself first, okay? Because you can't be of assistance to other people if you wear yourself um, thin and then you can't be of assistance to other people. If you're fighting their battles for them, and it alleviates their accountability. So just be very careful about where you're giving your energy and devoting your energy. The Seven of Wands energy basically means biting off more than we can chew, tackling things. It's like working hard rather than working smart. And it's like too many things are being thrown your way and you have to really sit down and, and think about what am I doing here? What am I hoping to achieve? Is this the smart way to do it? And what do I really have control over? So pick your battles. Um, I keep seeing you being called out for assistance. You know, like people are coming to you, lend me a hand, help me do this, help me do that. And then I also feel like a lot of it is like acquaintances. They're not even close friends and family members, coworkers, acquaintances, people that you barely know and they're asking you, you to move mountains for them because they have this sense of entitlement. And you're like, okay, I'll do it. And it's because I also feel you might be overestimating the time commitment or the energy that you have or the time that you have at your disposal to get things done. And then you end up with a time crunch, okay? Please learn to say no. Learn to accurately gauge how much time you have and how much time um, some project, some favor, some thing, some task is going to take before you decide to partake in it. And I, I just feel like people are just asking you left and right to do things for them. And there isn't any fair compensation. There isn't even a need. Like they're more than capable of doing it, but they prefer that you do it because they have the sense of entitlement. Like it's okay for them to ask. And so you have to understand from what intentions, I'm sorry, from what are the intentions behind the favor? Are they just not able to do it physically for some reason? Or do they just feel like, you know, I'll dump it on the Aries and the Aries will take care of it, no problem. So, you know, be a little bit more, I, I want to say careful, but also be a little bit more conscientious about what you choose to get involved in and who you choose to do these things for, okay? Um, I feel like the mantra for this month is all about what have you done for me? And I'm also sensing as well, there is some resentment from your end about people taking advantage of you. And I also feel like, you know, let, let's look at, first of all, the sun card and the star card. Both are in the upright position, which denotes to me, many of you, you have a very childlike, pure heart. Um, it's like you give everybody the benefit of the doubt until they, not only once or twice, but until they like, after 10 times of screwing you over, then that's when you're a little bit cautious. But otherwise, you always give people the benefit of the doubt. And so you don't really hold grudges, okay? Um, unless it's like over and over and over and over again, where you, you get, you know, um, disappointed by the same person. That's when you kind of start to steal up and that's when you start to look at them differently and that's when you um, might not trust what they say, the promises that they, they make and, you know, things like that. So it takes a lot to kind of like make you jaded and it takes a lot to make an Aries person uh, hate another person because, you know, you you believe in second chances. But either way, you believe that people change and I feel like you're constantly dealing with somebody and over and over and over again, they keep disappointing you and, and yet you keep coming back to it. So this is a month where, you know, you don't have time for the BS. You don't have time to 
be disappointed. You don't have time to waste on people that don't have your best interests at heart, or you don't have time to waste on people that constantly, you know, leave you in a space where you doubt your worth, or they keep disappointing you over and over and over again. And it's like I don't have time for it anymore. So your the mantra is, "What have you done for me? Have you been there for me?" Have you been there when I needed you? When, for example, the seven of wands, I'm taking care of all the responsibilities by myself. And what have you done? I was there for you when you were a student. You weren't making money. I was there for you when you were unemployed. I was there for you to hold the family together, take care of the kids, take care of the aging parents. And what did you do? And so. I feel like, you know, when you were really, really, really stressed out, and the other person was not there for you, that's when you start to see. So, when things were really, really bad, and they're not there, that's the only time you start to see that maybe you might not mean as much to them as you think, or you might not mean as much to them as they have. They mean to you. And that's when the reality, you know, starts to sink in. But then, with the seven of wands energy, it's almost like being in survival mode, wanting to keep all the discs spinning in the air, wanting to preserve that four of wands, perfect home, for perfect balance, perfect harmony, wanting to kind of like show that face to the world that everything is. It's okay. Everything is perfect, even though behind the scenes there are a lot of struggles and there are a lot of things that you're not revealing to other people. And I also see many of you holding back the aggression, holding back the resentment, and not being able to express it in a meaningful way to let the other person kind of like have a piece of your mind. So I do see you pulled in multiple directions here, and honestly, there's so much happening. It's like a whirlwind of activities and emotions brewing below the surface, and you're so busy that you don't have time to process everything. Make sure you take time to yourself. Make sure you learn to distance yourself from people that might not have been there for you, and also make sure that you call people out on situations where, if they're taking you for granted, if they're taking advantage of your kindness, that. They're aware of it, okay? Let people know where they stand with you. Draw your little line in the sand and tell them, "Don't cross me," because I feel like tempers are very short this month. Aside from that, what I have here、uh, with the star and the sun, it indicates to me tremendous potential for healing. Okay,、um, the star basically means having vision. Feeling comfortable in our own skin, knowing what we are capable of. So, without the massive struggle and the, the tribulations and the, the hardships of the Seven of Wands, then you won't know what you're capable of. You won't know how strong you are. You won't know how competent and capable you are. So, without adversity, you won't know your limitations, and you won't know.、Um, Your breaking point. So I feel like this is a major, major month for learning, for、um, pushing yourself past your limits, for as well challenging yourself to become better people, and challenging yourself just in the spirit of I want to know what I'm made of. I want to know what I'm capable of. And at the same time, the pressure that's brewing underneath the surface will also, unfortunately. Or fortunately, let you know where you stand with other people. Are they around for you? Are they going to, you know, be there for you through thick and thin, or are they going to crack under the pressure? So I feel as if for many of you, we have here the Queen of Cups. This could potentially be a relationship partner. This is somebody that is going through some either health issues or some emotional distress in their lives, and they're going to kind of like they they will require you to step up 
and uh, help them along the way. So this is a time where you are going to need to step up for a partner, go to bat for a partner, and kind of like take on the responsibilities in your relationship. And you know, Aries, you're so independent, it's hard for you to coordinate with another person. But I feel as if this is a month where your energy softens up, where intuitively you sense that, okay, they're physically not feeling well, they're emotionally not feeling well, so I need to step up and, you know, take on the responsibilities for the both of us so that I can weather the, the so that I can, you know, um, kind of like ride out this bump in the road, right? And I also feel for some of you, um, I feel like this is somebody who is in the work environment that's, that's causing a ruckus, that's very self-serving. So I have your water sign, uh, Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. It's somebody who is very self-serving in the work environment. They have some issues that they're going through. It's affecting their work. And then they're calling out favors left and right and feeling like people owe them and not taking accountability for not mixing personal life and professional life. So if that's what you're dealing with, there is going to be, you know, uh, some type of a blowout. And um, be careful with the tower and the strength card. This is kind of like uh, things that have been kind of swept under the rug, they implode or energies and resentment that have been built up and pent up, they're going to come to the surface. So you want to be cautious about emotional moderation. You want to be cautious as well. If you're willingly taking on a lot of responsibilities, you want to be able to say no, otherwise the resentment will, will seep in where you feel you're doing all the work and the other person is not doing anything. So don't take on more responsibilities than you can handle. And especially don't take on more and then become resentment after the fact. We all have the ability to say no. And for whatever reason, social pressure for, um, social pressure from work or from our superiors, we don't say no when we should. And so don't say yes to everything and then become resentful, okay? That is passive aggressive energies and I don't see that happening for a lot of you Aries, but I feel like you might feel pigeonholed into taking on responsibilities that you don't want and, or you don't think it's fair. But you might not be crafty enough like a typical Libra and learn to kind of like redirect and inadvertently and, and like um, uh, shrewdly say no in a very crafty way like the way a Libra would. So I feel like you're, you feel pigeonholed, you feel trapped into saying yes and then you become very, very um, resentful. Um, in the home front, we have here the Four of Wands as well as the Page of Pentacles. And both of these indicates to me expenditures within the home, balancing things out, redecorating, um, as well as like, uh, they're saying like uh, expanding an in-law unit. So you might have like, um, you know, like a basement, you're, you're transforming into another bedroom or something like that. I'm seeing that. Um, home renovation, redesigning, rebuilding, expansion, uh, adding new people into the home, somebody else moving in into the home environment, somebody moving out, or there might be, if you're renting, late payments within the home, uh, things like that. So I, I feel like some, some restructuring that needs to happen within the home. Um, and I feel like, you know, they, they will sort themselves out. So once again, if it's something with, beyond your control, then let it go, okay? And we're also dealing with the beginning of a Mercury retrograde cycle in the month of um, July. So if you're getting contractors in the home, if you can avoid it, try to do all home renovations and repairs and maintenance and things like that um, before the, the 15th of July and also after the 20th of August, okay? Just to avoid the Mercury retrograde cycle. What I'm also feeling as well in the relationship front, I have here the Knight of Swords, and the Knight of Swords in the reverse basically indicates um, 
messages coming through and communication coming through that's going to reveal to you where you stand with another person so i have here the eight of swords and the eight of swords is a situation where you're not sure where to go you're emotionally bounded by something like you're in fear of making a decision you're not sure if the the the, 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 the that one decision is going to cause a chain reaction and affect all the other decisions and you feel like you don't have all the information and you also feel a little bit strapped for time confused and the decision might also involve an air sign in your life i have an aquarius a gemini or a libra i also see heavy fire energy so possibly with the sun and the strength card possibly a leo um possibly a sagittarius or an aries so i feel like you're making decisions that involve other people and it's frustrating it's hard to coordinate and it's just going to be so frustrating working these things through and i also feel as well you know with this air sign aquarius gemini or libra that you're making decisions with or a fire sign that you're making decisions with um aries sagittarius leo they're going to give you some piece of information and it's going to bring a lot of clarity to a situation so whatever has been stuck is going to move forward and whatever you inkling or intuition um intuitive hits that you've been getting it's going to be confirmed and it's going to allow you to kind of like see the situation for what it is okay let me see if there are some last messages um i i keep seeing this battle cry like you know where were you when i needed you where were you when i needed you so i feel like with this four of wands it indicates it's a card of family as well release resentment i do see issues mom and dad you know mom was emotionally distraught caught up in her own thing not able to be there for you at a very pivotal period in your life maybe as an adolescent when you were going through some difficulties with friends maybe in your early adulthood when you were you know experimenting with um dating relationships um i also feel as well um substances you know like drugs alcohol when you, when you were just going through emotions and you're just like you're supposed to you know tell me what not to do and what to do but you weren't there and then i also feel as well um with the father figure you know the the sun in astrology symbolizes the the authority figure of the father okay and that's the reason why i bring it up because i feel like there is a massive healing here coming through from your mom and your dad if you take the time to have a conversation with them and to kind of like air out these things not in the spirit of aggravation and um accusation but more like hey there's something that really bothered me remember when i was this age and you weren't there what where were you what exactly did you do why did you leave me to fend for myself um you have to have these conversations for those of you who are in your 20s i feel like you have these uh, memory gaps and you're just like what exactly happened you are trying to make sense of it and go straight to the source ask those questions demand some answers because i feel like uh what you thought you remember might not be the reality i feel like something might have happened you know between your parents or they were going through their own issues and they they might not have even been aware that they were emotionally vacant or unavailable to you so i see tremendous potential for healing i see questions being answered i see truths coming to light and i see you initiating some really uncomfortable uh, conversations so that you can understand where other people are coming from it's a very good month for breakthroughs in therapy breakthrough in health issues um please aries get enough sleep be careful when you drive i don't see the chariot here but we have here the knight of swords which is somebody who moves very very quickly 
be careful when you're driving. It's always good to slow down because you guys are very heavy, heavy footed. You tend to speed and you tend to be a little bit reckless. Um, so be a little bit careful, okay? Save home renovation and repairs for another month if you can. So I'm just gonna pull out a few more cards here. You might not see them on the screen, but um, just to see energies here for, I see many of you um, excited about singles, especially. I see many of you talking to uh, an earth sign, so Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. And um, I see you excitedly hurtling, like running towards this person. And I feel like they are a little bit self-serving. Their energy is very young. This page of pentacles. The energy is very, very young. And I feel like Many of you, it's like barking up the wrong tree. If you're looking for a love relationship that is stable, you're looking for somebody to have a relationship with and to settle down with and to marry, and you're dating somebody who's very young, who's not financially stable, who can barely take care of themselves, it just doesn't make sense. So they're saying here, slow down singles because you're barking up the wrong tree. And then I also feel, on the other hand, there are opportunities for you to date. And I especially see, in particular, um, going out and meeting people. Like, you're going to family functions and you're being introduced to people. You're being tr introduced to, like, friends of the family and people that can make connections for you that way. I do see a lot of Aries people with huge family gatherings. And I feel like if you make your intentions known that you're looking, that you're looking for somebody a little bit more serious and stable and someone who's, you know, on the same page about settling down, then you definitely can find somebody via a family introduction. If you're looking to have a good time just for fun and things like that, then the young characters that will come in, they're here, to, they're here today, gone tomorrow. And I also feel like they come with a lot of baggage. So it might not be the best month to put yourself out there or to look for Mr. or Mrs. Right, okay? I'm going to leave you with that. Um, career front, things are going really well. The sun indicates as well career aspirations and professional outlook being really good, okay? So I feel like, you know, your, um, what is that expression? Like your, um, your reputation. Your, your reputation is just really, you're, you're bright and shiny and people are very receptive to your ideas. Make sure you say no. Don't take on too much responsibilities and then complain about it, okay? Um, I will be back. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe the mid-month reading. But um, I wish you all the best, okay, Aries? Take care of yourself and blessings to all of you guys for the month of July. Take care. Bye-bye.